Hello, welcome to Tuesday, um, week number five. Can you believe it's been five weeks? Um, I hope everybody's doing well today. If you're in St. Louis, it is a gorgeous day outside, so I hope you get to go outside and do some Tai Chi. Uh, we are going to do some seated Tai Chi for an hour, and then we are going to do some standing Tai Chi, and we're going to do some Shabashi as we do that, okay? Um, just to let you know, been having a few technical problems with the picture freezing. So if the picture freezes, um, the audio still works. So um, I'll be continuing to talk while Sophia does a reboot if we need to do that. Okay, so just to let you know, a few technical problems, part of the fun of doing things live. Okay, all right. So I have been working with Dr. Paul Lam, his six principles of Tai Chi. Uh, those six principles are to go slow, to feel like you're moving through resistance, to keep a good straight body posture, um, to be mindful of your weight transference, to song or loosen the joints, and then today is number six. Um, the sixth principle is Jing, J-I-N-G. Um, and just like in the English language, sometimes uh, the same word has different meanings uh, that also happens in the Chinese language and so Jing actually has three different meanings to it uh, Jing can mean energy uh, Jing can mean one of the three treasures which is essence uh, the Chinese call three treasures Jing Qi and Shen um, Shen spirit Qi energy Jing essence um, or the third meaning, and that's what the one we're dealing with today, is mental quietness. Um, hopefully you've had a chance to experience this with Tai Chi. Um, it takes a little bit of, uh, you have to, as I talked about yesterday, uh, things with Tai Chi, they build on one another. So um, you have to learn the movements first. Um, um, get the movements kind of into muscle memory and then you can move to the next layer songing relaxing the joints as you relax the joints um, you can uh, that helps you feel that relaxedness and helps you get that mental quietness okay so I'm going to be talking a little bit more about this in the second hour uh, but I wanted to touch base on it uh, so you have a good idea of principle number six and then it Wednesday and Thursday of this week, uh, we're going to bring all six of those principles in and I'm going to show you how you can use those to deepen your own Tai Chi. So you can take a form such as Tai Chi for arthritis. Um, you can even consider the warm up exercises being a form. So you could take the warm up exercises and just work with the warm up exercises and those six principles and you can start to take your Tai Chi even deeper and deeper. Um, a lot of people feel like you need to learn all these different forms and you don't really have to do that. Um, you want to learn Tai Chi in depth, not, I call that with when you're trying to learn, uh, many, you know, all kinds of different forms to say, well, I know Chen and Soon and, and Yang style. And I know, you know, three different types of the Yang style forms and so on and so forth. Uh, that's learning it wide. Um, I'd much rather see you concentrate on just a few things and go deep okay and so that's uh, and that's part of what will give you that jing that mental quietness all right okay so if you have any questions Sophia is monitoring the YouTube channel um, so if you have any questions you can shoot those to her uh, we're gonna start out doing some seated Tai Chi um, again if we have any technical issues just hang in there uh, we'll reboot the picture and uh, get it going again all right uh, just just part of learning technology, right? All right. The audio sounds much better. Thank you. I worked with that a little bit yesterday. So, um, all right. Thank you. So, traditional Chinese bow. We're going to take our right hand and make it into a fist, standing for power. Take the left hand, bring the fingers together, standing for friendship. Tuck in the thumb, standing for humility. And the fist goes into the palm and we say welcome or ni hao. All right. So seated Tai Chi today for the first hour. So 
I've talked about this before, but always good to touch on it again. When you're sitting down doing seated Tai Chi, I'm going to turn sideways to demonstrate. We put our feet flat on the floor, have a 90 degree bend between the upper and the lower leg, kind of rock forward on the pelvis, and the head is lifted by a silk thread. So I have good straight body posture in this direction and good straight body posture in this direction. It is a good idea to practice uh, sitting like this, okay? You will not be able to sit like this right off the bat. Uh, when I first started doing Tai Chi and tried to do some seated Tai Chi, uh, I was not able to sit this way for very long. Now I can sit for uh, probably several hours uh, like this, okay? Um, this is good for our back. It's good for our posture. This good straight body posture is good to let the chi and the energy flow within our body, okay? All right. Oh, somebody wanted me to. Um, so this shirt, I get in a little close here as the camera kind of freaks out. But yeah, up close and personal. This, is, uh, this was a gift to me, repulsing the monkey shirt. So you see a monkey on a tree, repulsing the monkey. Anyway, I thought I'd point that out to you. Uh, somebody asked me about that earlier. Okay, so Lulu's going to stay back by um, Sophia. Even though I sit down, she thinks I'm open game now. Pa also one of the fun things of doing uh, live TV from your home, the dogs will make cameo appearances for us. Um, okay, so... We are sitting up nice and straight and tall, feet flat on the floor, heads lifted by the silk thread. We're going to start off with some belly breathing exercises. This is probably one of the most important things that I can teach you in Tai Chi, especially during these stressful times. Um, it, it's important that we get our immune system strong. And one of the ways to get our immune system strong is to do deep breathing to relax the body, let stress flow away from the body. That will help keep our immune system very strong. Also, water, hydrate, very important uh, to keep the immune system strong, all right? Okay, so we're sitting up nice and straight and tall. I'm gonna take deep belly breaths, all right? Long, slow, deep breaths. And Remember, not breathing up here into our chest, breathing into the belly. So let's begin. Big, deep belly breath in. And long, slow, deep breath out. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Push the hands in front of us next. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Go ahead and read that to me if you would. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Beautiful. Arms over the head next. Inhale. You can tell them that it has worked on this. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Okay, I'm going to be doing some uh, talking to my producer, Sophia. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Um, also let them know right now we can't swap ports or USB cables, but we can try that solution. It has been working though. Inhale, or exhale. This is true yin-yang. I'm doing an ancient Chinese exercise while talking uh, modern technology. Now that's true yin-yang. Inhale, hands out in front of the heart. Exhale, push the palms out. Inhale and exhale. Big, deep belly breath in. Breathe out, push out. 
Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. You can tell them that we are in week five and we've had a couple of times it's froze up, but it hasn't been a major problem. Using the same cable, same port, same camera. Arms in the diagonals. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, although it appears to be working okay now. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale, although we would like it to work flawlessly. Inhale, hands back up in front of the heart. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, hands back up in front of the heart. Exhale, relax the hands down. Flap the arms like bird wings. Big, deep belly breath in. Long, slow, deep breath out. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Tell them I did a full restart on the computer. It was freezing, uh, but I did a full restart on the computer and that seemed to help. Gathering chi. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Right now, it looks like we're okay. Inhale. We've gone about 20 minutes and it hasn't frozen so far. Exhale. Keep the fingers crossed. Let's do three more times without the technical chatter. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful. All right. That's our deep breathing exercises. Um, I apologize for the technical chatter, um, but we're in communication with one of the software people because um, we were having a problem with the camera freezing on us, and I want to try and give you as good of quality of product as I can. And the picture freezing doesn't really work well for Tai Chi. Uh, still pictures in Tai Chi just don't seem to go together. Um, so it was either not have this broadcast or have a little technical chatter while we're doing it. So I chose the latter. I hope you will understand. Um, thank you for your patience and understanding. A um, lot goes into putting this together. And thank you to Sophia for handling all the stuff behind the camera, literally behind the camera. By the way, I'm seeing the, um, the uh, microphone audio go red line occasionally. Is that coming through on the, on the, uh, I'll, if you watch the, again, I'm sorry, technical chatter. If you, okay, okay. Um, just watch the microphone volume. It's going red line as I'm seeing it, but I'm making, I want to make sure that's not going out on the, the stream. Because it looks like it's something that some kind of a glitch. Okay. Hi, I'm back. <laughs> oh man, it's hard to get the quiet mind when you're trying to deal with technical problems at the same time. Um, but of course, it is Taco Tuesday. Um, okay. Um, let's let's continue on. Let's do our warm up exercises. Uh, starting with the neck and moving down from there. In the first couple of weeks, uh, I went into these in pretty much detail. Um, what kind of number are we run, Sophia? 
Awesome. Good. I'm glad we got that one fixed. So we're going to continue to move on. We're going to go through our warm-up exercises. Um, still same seated position, not using the back of the chair, feet flat on the floor, 90 degree bend between the upper and the lower leg, rock forward on the pelvis, head lifted by the silk thread. Let's do the chin tuck first. Keep that chin level as you do this. Bring the hands up in front of us. Hands to the chest, tucking in the chin while looking straight ahead. Rotate the palms out, the chin gently floats up, and then sink the chin down to the chest. Two more times, we'll bring the hands up in front of us. Hands to the chest, tucking in the chin, feel that nice stretch. Rotate the palms out, the chin gently floats up, and sink the chin to the chest. Beautiful, one more time, bring the hands up in front of us. Hands to the chest, tucking in the chin. Feel that nice stretch. Rotate the palms out. The chin gently floats up and sink the chin to the chest. Beautiful. Uh, okay, I have to talk to my producer again. So help remind me there is a box in Sparko Cam that it, go, it does a live refocus every 25 minutes and we can uncheck that box. Um, it's under the device and camera settings. Uh, we, that box probably got rechecked when we restarted. Scroll down where you're at. Go up, go up, go up, go up. Keep going up. Now to the uh, right, and there's a little bar. You can drag. No, not that far right. In that little box there. All right. Sorry, folks. In the little box, it says camera. There's a little slide bar. Go come down. There you go. Slide down keep sliding down in there you'll see something it says do a live refocus every 25 minutes there you are uncheck that box and that may keep it from doing that live refocusing again hi oh man yin and yang yin and yang looking side to side inhale to prayer hands tai chi ball left hand is on top right hand right shoulder looking right gently pushing down left Inhale, come back to center. I need some of that jing, that mental quietness today. Tai Chi ball, right hands on top, left hand, left shoulder. Gently push down on the right. Inhale, come back to center. Tai Chi ball, left hand is on top. Watch the right hand going over the right shoulder. I'm looking right, pushing down left. Inhale, come back to center. Come back to prayer hands. Tai Chi ball, right hand is on top. Watch the left hand going over the left shoulder, looking left, pushing down right. Inhale, come back to center. Back to prayer hands. One more time, Tai Chi ball, left hand is on top. Watch the right hand going over the right shoulder, looking right, pushing down left. Inhale, come back to center. Prayer hands, Tai Chi ball, right hand is on top. Watch the left hand going over the left shoulder, looking left, pushing down right. And then inhale, come back to center. Back to prayer hands. Exhale, relax the hands down. Excellent. Forward shoulder circles. Bring the shoulders back. Then up, forward, and down. Shoulders back, up, forward, and down. One more time, shoulders back, up, forward, and down. Beautiful. Now reverse that. Shoulders forward, up, back, and down. Forward, up, back, and down. Forward, then up, then back, and down. Excellent. Gathering chi. Gently reaching for infinity. Inhale, gently reaching out, reaching up. And then exhale, relax the hands down. Again, gently reaching out, reaching up. Feel that nice stretch. And then exhale, relax the hands down. Beautiful. One more time. Gently reaching out, reaching up. And exhale, relax the hands down. Beautiful. 
Feel that nice stretch in your shoulder? That's the songing of the joints when we're reaching out. We're songing, opening up the joints. Touching heaven and earth, lifting that head up by the silk thread. Prayer hand position. Left hand up, right hand down, float the head gently to the ceiling. Inhale, back to center. Right hand up, left hand down, again gently float the head to the ceiling. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, left hand up, right hand down, feel that nice stretch. Inhale, back to center, right hand up, left hand down, again feel that nice stretch. Inhale, back to center. One more time each side. Left hand up, right hand down. Feel that nice, beautiful stretch. Inhale, back to center. Right hand up, left hand down. Again, feel that beautiful stretch. And then inhale, come back to center. Prayer hands, exhale, relax the hands down. Carrying the ball side to side. You can't move your hips because you're sitting on them now. Prayer hand position. Tai Chi ball left hand is on top. We're working on moving the belly button. So turn the belly button to the left as you turn the ball to the left. Inhale the ball over. Right hand is on top. Now turn the ball to the right as you turn the belly button to the right. Inhale the ball over. Exhale to the left. Inhale the ball over, exhale to the right. For those of you that do standing Tai Chi, you should feel the same muscles trigger and work as you're doing this exercise as what you do from the standing position. If you're not feeling as many muscles trigger when you stand, it means you probably are rotating the hips. Inhale the ball over. Let's do it one more time because we're having so much fun. Exhale, left. Inhale the ball over. Exhale to the right. And then inhale the ball over. Come back to center. Prayer hands. Exhale, relax the hands down. Awesome. I'm going to get a drink of water. Is everybody having fun? Yep. Good. I heard you cheer out there. That's a good thing. All right. Moving along. Hip exercises. First exercise, I push down, I lift up. I keep my back straight, I keep the body straight, all right? This is the tough part on this one. As we keep that back and body straight, it helps work our core muscles, all right? Always wanna make sure you have these good core foundational muscles, okay? Hands up in front of us, push down on the left foot, hard as you can, pushing down, push, 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 and relax. And then lift the left knee to the chest, keeping the back nice and straight. Relax the arms and legs. Hands in front of us. Push down on the left foot, hard as you can, pushing down. Push, 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 push. And relax. And then lift that left knee to the chest, keeping the back nice and straight. Relax the arms and leg. Beautiful. One more time. Hands in front of us. Push down on the left foot, hard as you can. Pushing down, trying to drive it down through the floor. Relax, keep that back straight. Lift the left knee to the chest. Again, keeping the back nice and straight. Relax the arms and leg. Beautiful. Other side, hands in front of us. Push down on the right foot, hard as you can. Pushing down, push, push, push. Relax, everything okay, Sophia? Lift the right knee to the chest, keeping the back nice and straight. Relax the arms and leg. Hands in front of us. Push down on the right foot. Hard as you can. Push, 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 push. Relax. And then lift the right knee to the chest. Keeping the back nice and straight. Relax the arms and legs. Did they reply to us, by the way? Hands in front of us. Push down on the right foot. Hard as you can. Push, 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 push. Relax. And then lift the right knee to the chest. The back stays nice and straight. And relax the arms and legs. Beautiful. Shake those legs loose. All right. Next exercise. If you are sitting in a chair with arms on it, um, 
pivot to the right hand side of the chair so that your right leg is up against the arm of that chair. I don't have arms on my chair. If you don't have arms on your chair, you don't need to do that pivot. All right. I want to make sure you just have enough room. Keep the leg straight. Keep this 90 degree bend between the upper and the lower knee and keep your leg straight coming up straight from the ground. Don't have it lean out to the side as you do this one. OK, and of course, keep the body and back straight. Starting with the left leg. So pivot to the right hand side of the chair if you need to. Left leg, slide the left leg across the floor. Feel that stretch on the inside of the legs, the hips, even the lower back. And then bring the knees back together again. Slide the left leg across the floor. Feel that nice stretch. Hold it there for a minute. And then bring the knee back in. One more time. Slide the left leg across the floor. Nice, gentle stretch. And then bring those knees back together again. Beautiful. All right. Now, if you're in a chair with arms on it, swing over to the left hand side of the chair. I'm going to stay straight on. If you don't have any arms in your chair, you can stay straight on. Now we're going to use the right leg. So slide the right leg across the floor. Feel that nice stretch. And come back to center. Again, slide the right leg across the floor. Nice, gentle stretch. And bring the knees back together again. Beautiful. One more time. Slide the right leg across the floor. We're going to hold it here for a minute. Breathe in, breathe out. And then bring the knees back together again. Awesome. Shake those legs loose. Kind of hit the sides of your hips if that makes you feel better too. All right, moving along. Uh, heel kick exercise, a great way to strengthen your legs, okay? Four motions with the leg. We pick the leg up, we kick the leg out. This is a heel kick, so my toe is pointing up right now. Pick the leg back up, float the foot to the ground. Keep the back straight, keep the body straight as we are doing this, all right? Oh, and one more thing. We're going to punch out the opposite hand. So I'm mirroring you. But as I'm kicking left, I'm punching out with the right fist, working that brain. Remember, Tai Chi is a mental and physical exercise. So sitting up nice and straight and tall, feet flat on the floor. Big smile radiating from our faces. Pick up that left leg and then heel kick left. Punch out the right fist. Pick up that left leg and float the foot to the ground. Pick up the right leg, heel kick right, punch out the left fist. Pick up the right leg, float the foot to the ground. Pick up the left leg, heel kick left, punch out the right fist. Pick up the left leg, float the foot to the ground. Pick up the right leg, heel kick right, punch out the left fist. Pick up the right leg, float the foot to the ground. We're going to do this two more times, total of four. Pick up the left leg, heel kick left, punch out the right fist. Pick up the left leg, float the foot to the ground. Pick up the right leg, heel kick right, punch out the left fist. And then pick up the right leg and float the foot to the ground. One more time. Pick up the left leg, heel kick left, punch out the right fist. Pick up the left leg, float the foot to the ground. Pick up the right leg, heel kick right, punch out the left fist. And then pick up the right leg and float the foot to the ground. Shake those legs loose. Nice work. Next exercise. We're going to do a toe kick. Look. Everything looks the same as the last one with one variation. That's a heel kick. My toe is pointing up. Now we're going to do a toe kick. I'm going to point my toe forward, demonstrating from the side. That's a heel kick where I push out on the heel. And then this is a toe kick. I push out on the toe. All right. Everything else is the same. Back straight, body straight, punching out the opposite hand. Big smile on the face, all simultaneously. 20 things happening at the same time. Pick up that left leg, toe kick left, punch out the right fist. Pick up the left leg and float the foot to the ground. 
Pick up the right leg, toe kick right, punch out the left fist. Pick up the right leg, float the foot to the ground. Make sure you're keeping the back straight as you do this. Uh, the tendency is, especially on the toe kick, is when you kick out the toe to kind of lean back, all right? Instead, you keep the back nice and straight as you kick that toe out, okay? It helps to keep looking straight ahead of you. Pick up that left leg, toe kick left, punch out the right fist. Pick up the left leg, float the foot to the ground. Pick up the right leg, toe kick right, punch out the left fist. Pick up the right leg, float the foot to the ground. Two more times. Pick up the left leg, toe kick left, punch out the right fist. Pick up the left leg, float the foot to the ground. Pick up the right leg, toe kick right, punch out left fist. Pick up the right leg, float the foot to the ground. Beautiful, 100 more times. Pick up the left leg, toe kick left, punch out the right fist. Come back to center, pick up the right leg, toe kick right, punch out the left fist. And then pick up the right leg and back to center. Beautiful, shake those legs loose. I was just kidding about 100 times, but think of how strong you would be if you did that 100 times. Oh, great, 21 days later. <clears throat> We'll have to use that next year. <laughs> Sophia said she had a great April Fool's joke that she could have had her teaching Tai Chi uh, for the first uh, five minutes or so as an April Fool's joke. So, but I think it was I think it was enough that I was the fool here teaching Tai Chi. So that's true. All right, uh, ankle exercises. I'm going to turn a little bit to give you a better look on this one. I touch the heel and then the toe. Touch the heel and the toe. Notice my lower leg is not moving and the knee is not moving. Heel, toe, heel, and toe. And now shift. Again, I'm going to turn a little bit. You don't have to. Right foot, touch heel and toe. Heel, and toe, heel, toe, heel, toe, heel, and toe. Beautiful. Shifting back to the left foot, second ankle exercise. Touch little toe and big toe. Outside of the foot, inside of the foot, little toe, Big toe, we're gonna to do that one more time. Little toe and big toe. Shift to the right, same, same. Little toe, big toe. Outside of the foot, inside of the foot. Little toe, big toe. Outside and inside. And back to center, go ahead, shake those legs loose. Beautiful. That's the warm-up exercises. Um, I've, been, I've been encouraging everybody, and I had a little mantra until a little pandemic hit. Um, I've had a mantra going for 20, 20 in 2020, meaning 20 minutes of exercise uh, in the year 2020. And that 20 minutes would consist of 10 minutes of deep breathing and 10 minutes of Tai Chi. Um, since we have this opportunity to spend more time in our home, this also gives us an opportunity uh, to try that 20 and 20, 20. Uh, the warm-up exercises are really good. Just flowing through those exercises is a really good 10-minute workout, okay? Um, and if we slow it down, work on the exercises. Don't try and fit them all in. Um, it's better that you go slower, take a little longer, or maybe do the first six over 10 minutes one day and then the lower body half the next day instead of trying to rush through them. That's a much better way to go, okay? All right. Um, so today, seated exercises. <laughs> yeah. 
It is good to have you here, Annette. So good to have you here. Um, okay. Um, and you're sitting right in front where I can see you, Annette. All right. Um, let's do the Tai Chi for Arthritis form. Um, but I'm, I'm going to do it from the chair, okay? I want to show you how to do um, any form that we do standing. We can also do seated, okay? And actually doing a form, practicing a form from the seated position is a really good way um, to figure out weight shifting, okay? So this is the hint um, or what you want to practice as you're doing the form seated, okay? Um, if you're standing and you have your weight, again, I'm going to continue in the mirror. If you have the weight on the left foot, what you would want to do is push down on that left foot, uh, like we did in the hip exercise where we push the foot down and lift the leg up. So then if you have your weight on your right foot, you would push down on that right foot like you're trying to push that foot down through the floor. And that simulates that leg. Um, the weight being on that leg okay and you'll feel it it'll give you a good workout i take my classes through um one in the beginning of the year i'll take them through one day of doing seated exercises and a lot of them will come back going hey i discovered a few muscles i didn't realize that i had uh, when i see them the next week um, and so seated exercises is Tai Chi is a really good exercise for us to do. Um, it just doesn't mean that when you're uh, when you're not able to move um, doing seated Tai Chi, it can work for everybody. Okay, so Tai Chi for arthritis. Let's walk through the form, and I'm going to tell you how to do it with your feet. Okay, now I'm going to face you. Uh, should I try to mirror? That would probably hurt my brain today. Let's not work on mirroring today. <laughs> that would probably make my brain hurt. Okay? All right. So we're going to start with commencement. The hands are down at the sides. I'm going to bring my hands up in front of me. Rotate the fingers towards heaven. Sink down. And then the weight shifts to the right as I bring the hands up in front of my chest. And then the weight shifts to the left. Now I push the left foot down as I extend my hands out. And then I come back to Wuji position. Open and close. There's no cat stance in there. Um, so something to think about here also. Um, you want to make sure that you're keeping your good straight body posture as you do this, all right? So sometimes as we push down on the left foot, we'll have a tendency to lean to the left, all right? So we're not wanting to lean, even doing something like a brush knee. We're going to push down on the foot, but we're going to keep our body straight, all right? So as you're pushing one foot down, pushing the other foot down, keep that upper body nice and straight. All right, so we're in the Wuji position. You know what? I am going to try and mirror. What the heck? All right. So single whip to the right. Push the left foot down as we extend the hands out. Now push the right foot down as you open the hands up. Now we're going to do cloud hands. Weight shifts back to the left foot. Shift hands. And then we turn the upper body right as we weight shift and push down on the right foot. Shift hands. And now shift the weight. So go from pushing the right to pushing the left foot down and release the right foot. Shift hands. Release the left and push down on the right. Release the right, push down on the left. Okay, mirroring's not going to work well. Shift hands, release the left, and push down on the right. And shift hands, and then release the right, push down on the left, and then come back to center. Open and close. Now, as you get into a higher level of seated Tai Chi, um, the what you can do is... Um, as you're as you're pushing down on one foot, you'll start out the you'll be like pushing down on this foot, and then you're going to shift and do this foot, and this foot, and this foot. 
um, what you can work on is trying to smooth that out. So you're pushing down on that left. And as you release, you slowly release the left as you push down on the right. And then you slowly release the right as you push down on the left. So you're alternating, but you're doing like a slow push as you do that. Okay. All right. Now let's go through brush knee sequence as we're doing this. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm not going to try and mirror. I'm just going to hurt my head if I try to mirror. So we're going to do a brush knee to the right. Okay. So push down on the right foot, fold the hands back. Now push down on the left foot, bring the hand forward. So that left hand comes up by the ear and pushes forward. The right hand comes down and I push down on the right foot. Next, I play the lute. So I turn the palms towards one another. I release the right foot and now push down on the left foot as the hands come forward and the right hand is forward. I parry and punch. I turn the thumbs to the front. I weight shift out. So I'm pushing down on the right foot as the left foot comes out. I push down. I turn the hands over. And now I push down on the left foot as the right hand comes out. And then I make a fist with both hands and I push down on the right foot. I block with the right and punch over the top with the left. Embracing the tiger, the left hand wipes off the back of the right. I push down on the left foot as the hands come to the chest. And then I push the mountain. The weight shifts to the right as I push forward and then I come back to center. Open and close. Feet 50-50. Relax the hands down. How's that feel? Feels a little strange, doesn't it? <laughs> All right. Um, but it's a really good way to help you with your weight shifting because once you practice this in the chair and practice where your weight should be from the chair by pushing down on the foot, when you get to the standing position, as you shift the weight over, that pushing down becomes the weight um, or the substantial. Remember substantial, insubstantial. We talked about it last Wednesday. Um, uh, that pushing down becomes the substantial leg or the leg that has the weight on it. Okay. All right. So that's a little bit of Tai Chi for arthritis use from the seated position using the pushing down of the feet to simulate weight shifting. Okay. I hope everybody enjoyed that. <coughs> Sophia has Lulu, our dog, up on her lap and has Lulu doing waving, waving paws like clouds and single whip and brush knee. So, and Lulu's such a good dog. She just is enjoying the attention. <laughs> so, all right, we're going to finish it off today. We're going to do Shibashi. We're going to do repetitions of three, but we're going to do seated Shibashi. Okay. Apparently Lulu saw somebody outside. So, okay. Um, Let's do this. So we're going to do Shibashi is 18 movements. We have practiced this at length for the last several Tuesdays. Um, and due to our time constraints, let's just flow through this today. I'm not going to give too much intricate direction here. I'm just going to kind of hit the high points. All right. So seated Shibashi, sitting up nice and straight and tall. We begin with commencement. Pick the hands up in front of us. Exhale, sink the hands down. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Next, giving a big hug. Inhale, keep inhaling. Opening, broadening the chest. Exhale. And exhale. Again, we'll inhale, keep inhaling, exhale, and exhale. One more time, inhale, keep inhaling, 
exhale, and exhale. Beautiful. Dancing with rainbows. I'm mirroring you, by the way. Uh, right hand over the top of the head, and I pivot and look to the left. Then left hand over the top of the head, and I pivot, look right. Keep that upper body nice and straight, not leaning. Right hand over the top of the head, pivot, and look to the left. Left hand over the top of the head, pivot, look to the right. One more time. You should feel this stretch in your trunk. Right hand over the head, pivot, look left. Left hand over the top of the head, pivot, and look to the right. Feel that beautiful stretch. Come back to your prayer hands, crossing the wrist in front of us. Bring the hands up over the head. You can come up on your toes, pushing down on the toes, heels in the air. Float the hands down, float the heels to the ground. Want more leg work? Push down on both feet simultaneously. Then come up on the toes, so you're just pushing down on the toes. Float the hands down, float the heels down, pushing down both feet. Hands up over the head, come up on the toes, float the hands down, and float the heels down. Beautiful. Repulsing the monkey. Remember the shirt? Um, left hand comes back, left hand back, right hand forward, and then roll that left hand forward. Crosses over the top of the right hand. Right hand back, left hand forward. And then roll that right hand forward. Notice, I'm bringing the left hand back, right hand is forward. The right hand is directly in front of me. The left hand is out to the side. And as I turn that left hand, it doesn't come over the top of my head. So I'm not doing a wide sweeping motion. Now the right hand is back and the left hand is forward. I'm not doing a, a wide sweeping motion, but I'm turning the wrist or fingers, wrist, elbow, and shoulder. Let's do that one more time. Left hand back, right hand forward. We roll that left hand forward. And then right hand back, left hand forward. And roll the right hand forward. Beautiful. Rowing the boat. Relax the hands down. Bring the hands back up over the top. Palms down. <clears throat> Again, back up over the top and then down. One more time. Beautiful. Movement number seven. Turn and hold the ball, starting with the right hand. Right hand while pushing the right big toe into the ground. I'm going to scoop with the right hand and then extend up and to the left. I'm going to scoop with the left hand, left big toe into the ground, extend up and to the right. Scoop with the right hand, extend up, feeling that stretch. Scoop left hand, left big toe into the ground, up and to the right. One more time. Scoop right, up and to the left. And then scoop left, up, and to the right. Turn and gaze at the moon. Look up and over the left shoulder, turning the trunk, keeping the upper body straight. Relax the hands down. Look up and over the right shoulder. Relax the hands down. Look up and over the left shoulder. Relax the hands down. And look up and over the right shoulder. And relax the hands down. Beautiful. One more time. Look up and over the left shoulder. Relax the hands down. And look up and over the right shoulder. And relax the hands down. Turn and push palms. Pick up that left palm. Push it across to the right. And then dip that little finger down. Pull back to the waistline. Right hand pushes to the left. And then we grab on and pull back. Left hand pushes to the right. Grab onto that rope and pull it back. Right hand pushes to the left. Grab onto that rope, pull back. One more time. Left hand to the right. Grab onto the rope, pull back. Right hand pushes left. And grab onto the rope and pull it back. Beautiful. 
Next exercise is cloud hands. I'm starting over on the right hand side. Left hand is on top. I turn to the left. Stop sign, shift hands, hold the baby. Bring it back over to the right. Stop sign, shift hands, hold the baby. Turn back to the left. Stop sign, shift hands, hold the baby. Come over to the right. Stop sign, shift hands, hold the baby. One more time to the left. And to the right. Come back to center. Slide that left foot slightly forward, angling it out just a little bit. All right. So um, your toe, you, you're sliding the foot out, but it's a little bit to the side. We're going to scoop from the sea and look to the sky. Scoop from the sea. Look to the sky. Scoop from the sea. And look to the sky. Playing with waves. Hands into the chest. Push the waves out. Push the right foot into the ground. Push the left foot into the ground as you receive them back. Push the right foot into the ground. Push the left foot into the ground. Notice my upper body is staying straight. I push the right foot into the ground. Now I push the left foot into the ground. I'm not leaning with my body as I do this. All right. Dove spreads its wings. Again, push the right foot into the ground and then the left foot into the ground. Push the right foot into the ground. Then push the left foot into the ground. Push the right foot into the ground and then push the left foot into the ground. Slide the left foot back. Right foot forward. Repeat those three. Scoop from the C. And look to the sky. Scoop from the sea. And look to the sky. One more time. Scoop from the sea. And look to the sky. Playing with waves. Hands in front. Push down on the left foot. Then push down on the right foot. Push down on the left foot. Push down on the right foot. Push down on the left foot. Push down on the right foot, keeping the upper body straight, opening up the arms. Dove spreads its wings. Push down, <coughs> pardon me, on the left. Push down on the right. Push down on the left foot. Push down on the right foot. Push down on the left foot. And push down on the right foot. Slide the right foot back in punching want to work the legs push down on both feet as you punch left and punch right punch left punch right punch left and punch right relax the legs fly like a goose hands up over the head come up on the toes pushing down on the toes heels in the air Float the heels and the hands down simultaneously. You can push down on both feet if you want. Come up on the toes, pushing down on the toes. Float the hands down. Push both feet into the ground if you want to work the legs. Come up on the toes. Push down on both feet. Circling. Stay safe. Do whatever is comfortable. This is a really good core workout. So I'm bending forward. I feel the hamstring stretch. I feel the back stretch. I start by going left, then arching the back, right, and down. Then to the left, arching the back, right, and down. To the left, arch that back, right, and down. To the right, arch the back, left, and down. One more time. To the left, arch the back, right, and down. And then to the right, arching the back, left, 
and down. Tuck in that chin and round up. Uh, two more. We're going to skip. So left leg, right hand. Keep the back straight. Right leg, left hand. I'm not lifting the hand above the shoulder. I'm lifting my leg however high my body will allow me to. Left foot, right hand. Right hand, left foot. And relax. Finally, calming chi. Inhale to the heart and exhale down. Inhale and exhale. And one more time. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful. All right, how was that? Did that feel good for everybody? It's quite a workout, isn't it? That's a really good workout. We didn't get out of our chair, but you felt the legs work out, didn't you? Okay, so let's do our cool down exercises. Lightly punch, slap the legs. Got a lot of working on the legs. Next, tighten up all the muscles in the body, arms, legs, face, squeeze the muscles and relax. Tighten up those muscles, squeeze the muscles and relax and one more time tighten up the muscles and relax and finally gather chi inhale and exhale inhale and exhale one more time inhale and exhale Beautiful. Um, we're going to take a 15 minute break. We are going to be back. We're going to do some standing Tai Chi. I call it more of an advanced class. Really, anybody can join this. The Shibashi we just did from the seated position. We'll now do it from the standing position. That's one of the elements I will put in there. I will be talking a lot about Jing, that quietening of the mind. Um, I'm going to go over that in a little bit more depth. Um, so 15 minute break, relax the legs, hydrate, maybe take, get a quick snack. We'll see you back in 15. Thank you very much to Sophia. Uh, as we work through our technical problems, we did not have any camera freeze ups to, uh, this morning. I did not think it was going to be like that at all. So, um, great job. We'll see everybody in 15. Um, thank you very much.
Hello. Welcome. Repulsing the monkey. Monkey tree. Repulsing monkey. It's kind of funny that I wore this shirt, although it was halfway intended. The Welcome to Tuesday. Welcome to week number five. Um, we just got done with a seated Tai Chi lesson. Now we're going to do standing. Uh, we are going to hit on some shibashi while we are doing this. So we have a lot to cover. If you have any questions, please let Sophia know. I will tell you that before we went on stream today, um, we were having a problem with the camera freezing. Um, I have not had that problem happen. Um, however, if the camera freezes, just hang in there and we will uh, we'll get it going again, okay? Which reminds me, we did not swap batteries between classes. Yes, Sophia's gonna go ahead and swap uh, the battery really fast while we do this, okay? So, uh, while Sophia is doing that, and thank you to Sophia for all of her great production work. Um, occasionally we forget to do that battery swap in between. If we do that, I'll be right in the middle of a move and the camera will freeze on us because the battery goes dead. Anyway, so we are still live. You just have a blank screen. I look a lot better this way, don't I? So, okay. Um, please send me pictures of yourself doing Tai Chi. Um, got a couple of great pictures yesterday. Put those up there so there's some new pictures on the gallery. You can check out the gallery at the uh, bottom of my Tai Chi website, TaiChiSTL.com. Uh, send the pictures to Craig M at TaiChiSTL.com. Uh, get some pictures of yourself doing some Tai Chi. Um, that would be awesome or awesome sauce, as my daughter says. Um, so we are back up and live again. Sophia did that fast battery switch, um, like ninja knives. Uh, um, okay, so uh, we have been talking about Dr. Lam's Tai Chi principles. Uh, what kind of numbers are we running, by the way? So uh, first, we uh, last Monday, not yesterday, but a week ago Monday, we looked at going slow. Then we looked at moving through resistance. Uh, then we talked about keeping our posture straight and becoming mindful of our weight shifting from one side to the other. Then yesterday, Monday, we talked about songing, relaxing the joints. And so today is like the ultimate Tai Chi. Sun Lu Tang, who developed the Sun style of Tai Chi, uh, said this was the ultimate in Tai Chi. And the ultimate in Tai Chi um, was this Jing, this mental quietness. Okay, so um, in the English language, there are words that have several different meanings. Chinese language is no different. Jing, J-I-N-G, has three different meanings pertaining, uh, depending on, on what you mean. One is Jing as in energy. Uh, something called Fa Jing um, is a martial art technique used to bounce people um, using your energy to push them or move them. Um, the second is jing, jing as in energy. Um, so the Chinese believe there are three treasures. Uh, they call them the three treasures, Jing, Qi, and Shen. Uh, you've heard me talk extensively about Qi, energy, that inner energy. Um, Shen is spirit, S-H-E-N, Shen, spirit. And then Jing in this form, Jing is the essence. It's the chi that we are born with, the chi given to us by our mothers and fathers. Um, and so that is our essence, all right? Today we're talking about Jing, mental quietness, okay? Um, this is an important concept, uh, but it builds on all the other different principles, and that's why it's principle number six. Um, if you're still learning the movements, um, if you're not using good posture, if you're having problem with weight shifting, if you're not able to relax and song the joints, <clears throat> it's going to be hard for you to get Jing, the mental quietness. Okay. Um, so work on those first ones, Jing, that mental quietness will come. Okay. It actually will come as an aha moment or it did for me. It came as an aha moment. I worked hard on the, on the forms and, one, one day I was doing a form and it was like, oh man, this is just beautiful. My mind relaxed. 
um, everything fell into place in that state of Jing. Um, Jing is similar to when we meditate mindfulness, that feeling of mindfulness where you are aware of your surroundings, but you're not integrated with your surroundings. You're kind of detached from your surroundings, so you're not affected by your surroundings. So you're aware of what's going on around you, but you're not drawn into them. Okay, so this state of Jing, mental quietness, uh, goes back, like I said, war the repulse the monkey. The Chinese believe that our mind is like monkeys, and there's different ideas and thoughts going through our mind, and they're constantly swinging, and each thought is clamoring for attention. Our brains were made to think, and so we constantly have this movement in our mind. Our brains are going, no, think about this, think about this, no, worry about this, what about this, what about this? And the Jing is the opposite of that. It's that quietness state. Um, again, the awareness of thing around us, but not being drawn in. Okay. Um, and in Tai Chi on one of its highest levels, we can reach this state of Jing. All right. Um, one of the Tai Chi sayings that in movement, there is stillness. In movement, there is stillness. All right. And that's a beautiful thing with Jing. Our body is moving to Tai Chi, but there's a stillness that envelops us, okay? And so that's what we're working on today. And part of that stillness is the mental focus. We focus on the movements. We don't focus on what's going on in the world around us. And we all know there's a lot of stuff going on. There's a lot of stuff that you can get really uptight about. Um, but there's a lot of good things happening around us also. And there's some amazing ways that people are making the world around us a better place in their own little corner. Um, and uh, so don't, you know, you can be aware of what's going on around you, but you can quiet your mind, okay? And that's what we're going to work on today in that Jing and all of our movements. We'll work on quieting that mind and finding, I'm going to get rid of my phone because I, I know I covered everything. I don't even have to check my notes. Um, so. We're going to work on Jing, mental quietness, okay? The next two days, Wednesday, Thursday, we're going to put all of these principles in action, all right? I'm going to show you how you can deepen your Tai Chi practice on Wednesday and Thursday by using the six principles and working with them one after another, okay? Uh, but let's work on that mental quietness today. So right hand, fist, power, left hand, fingers together, tucking the thumb, remaining humble. It's good to see everybody. Um, Sophia, if you get a chance to label those other videos, that would be awesome. You did a good job with that. Oh, gotcha. Okay, then don't do that. Never, never mind. All right. We're going to go through our breathing exercises. Inhale, exhale, calming, relaxing the mind. All right. So let's begin. Inhale. And exhale. Always bringing the mind back to the breathing. Inhale and exhale. When the mind starts to wander, just gently bring it back to breathing. Inhale and exhale. Push the hands in front of us next. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Big, deep belly breath in, breathe out, push out, inhale, and exhale, one more time, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale, arms over the head next. Inhale and exhale. Bring the mind back to breathing. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more.
more time. Big, deep belly breath in. Breathe out, push up. Inhale. And exhale. Arms to the side next. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Big, deep belly breath in. Breathe out, push out. Inhale. Exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Arms in the diagonals, inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, <clears throat> inhale, and exhale. Inhale, hands back up in front of the heart. Exhale, relax the hands down. Flap the arms like bird wings. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. And lastly, gathering chi. Big, deep belly breath in, long, slow, deep breath out. Inhale and exhale. And one more time, inhale and exhale. Beautiful. That's our breathing exercises. Notice how calm you feel after doing those breathing exercises. Um, as your mind, hopefully as your mind started to wander, you kind of brought it back in, let it focus on the breathing exercises. Um, so hopefully you're able to feel, even in those breathing exercises, that state of zhen, mental quietness. All right? Okay. Okay. Um, made me think of one thing while well, my mind was quieted it's amazing the things you think of when your mind is quiet um, please send me pictures of yourself doing Tai Chi um, I, I put some new pictures up on the gallery which is at the bottom of my website go take a look at the gallery see your your fellow students uh, doing Tai Chi um, but I have a lot more students out there that are doing Tai Chi so send me those pictures Craig M at Tai Chi STL.com I don't care. You can wear your craziest outfit if you want. You can be in your PJs. That's okay. Um, it doesn't matter. It's just a good way to stay in community. So send me those pictures of you doing uh, Tai Chi. Uh, Craig M at Tai Chi STL.com. Sophia will scroll that at the end for you also. All right. Send me those pictures, please. I'd love to see everyone doing Tai Chi. Does my heart good. Um, okay. Warm up exercises. Think of these warm-up exercises as another form, okay? Just as in uh, Dr. Lam has his Tai Chi for Health series of Tai Chi for arthritis and for osteoporosis, uh, for rehabilitation, for diabetes, all part of his Tai Chi for Health series. Um, there's also the Yang 24, the Soon 73, uh, Yang 48, a um, lot of different uh, forms. Think of these warm-up exercises as, as yet another form, all right? 
It's just a form you want to try and practice every day. So this is more of an advanced class. I've gone through the warm-up exercises in a lot of detail. So for right now, what I would like to do is just flow through these exercises um, and just let you get that mental quietness, all right? Always bring yourself back to the, to the breathing if your mind starts to wander, okay? Our minds were designed to think, and so they like thinking, and they do a really good job of thinking. Sorry, i got to stretch my neck a little bit here. Helps with that relaxation. Um, so as our minds are uh, trying to think of different things, just keep bringing them back to the breathing, okay? Starting with the chin tuck, we're going to inhale the hands up in front of us, and then exhale as we tuck in the chin. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. One more time. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Looking side to side, inhale, Tai Chi ball left hand on top, exhale to the right, inhale, Tai Chi ball right hand on top, exhale left, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale back to center. Exhale, relax the hands down. Forward shoulder circle, shoulders back, inhale up, forward, exhale, down. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Now reverse. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Gathering chi, reaching for infinity. Inhale, not forcing anything, nice and gentle. And exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful. Touching heaven and earth. Inhale to prayer hands. Exhale, left hand up, right hand down. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Ooh, let's do that one more time. Inhale, exhale. One more time, both sides. Inhale, Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, relax the hands down. Beautiful. Carrying the ball side to side. Inhale, Tai Chi ball left hand on top. Exhale. Inhale, and 
exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale the ball over, come back to center, exhale, relax the hands down. Beautiful. All right, we're ready for the lower body exercises. If you need to have a chair next to you, please go get one right now, all right? If you're having a bad balance day, uh, maybe feeling a little tired today, have a second chair to the other side of you, okay? Make sure you take that chair and you turn it sideways next to you so it kind of acts like a rail on the side, okay? All right. Prayer hand position, push right, weight right. Exhale. Inhale through center. Exhale, push left. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale back to center. Exhale, relax the hands down. Forward and backward hip exercises. Weight shifts right. Inhale on the heel. Exhale on the toe. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Back to center. Other side, weight shifts left. Inhale, right heel. Exhale, right toe. Inhale, heel, exhale, toe. Inhale, and exhale. And back to center. Heel kick is next. Weight shift. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more time. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Beautiful. Bow stance. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more time. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, 
inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Beautiful ankle exercises. Weight shift, right. Inhale, heel, exhale, toe. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Weight shifts to the left, right foot. Inhale, heel, exhale, toe. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. And back to center. Beautiful. Take a moment. Feel the body nice and calm. Your state of mind, mental quietness. All right. That's what we're looking for. That's that higher level of Tai Chi. All right. Shake your legs loose. Let's get a drink of water. Nice work, everybody. How are we doing, Sophia? <clears throat> All right. It is Taco Tuesday. I don't know why it's Taco Tuesday, but it is Taco Tuesday. <laughs> it's Taco Tuesday because my producer said it is. And since she's running the stuff, it's Taco Tuesday. So I talked about how everything builds on one another. So um, by keeping, uh, by moving slow, it allows the body to relax. By keeping that upright posture, it also allows the body to relax. Uh, as we learned last week, when you're leaning forward or leaning to the side, you're making your body work really hard. When you keep your body nice and straight and upright, your body doesn't work as hard, so it's able to relax more. So once you learn how to move slow and you learn how to move through that resistance, um, the, the body um, starts to get its posture correct. You start to focus on the weight shifting that allows the body to relax and you're able to open and song the joints. Once you're able to song those joints, your chi starts flowing better. And lo and behold, you start to get a mental quietness about you. Okay. And that's the sixth principle. Okay. Dr. Lam also has four extended principles. We will deal with those at a later time. Maybe next week, maybe the following week. Who knows? Um, today we're dealing with mental quietness. Um, let's do, I, I want to get in a couple. Actually, no, I'm going to reverse. I'm going to do, let's do Tai Chi for arthritis. Um, and I want you to go through and I want you just to focus on that breathing in and breathing out as we're doing Tai Chi. Um, I think you know the movements pretty well. If you don't know the movements, uh, check out one of my earlier videos where I go through the movements in detail. Uh, so check out one of those and then practice doing it and allowing the mind to just quiet, okay? So let's, um, let's not worry about doing it with music this time let's just keep the music whatever music is playing in the background we're just going to keep it going um, I want you just to think about your movements and to think about your breathing okay so I'm going to turn around and do a follow-on view with this um, again we're searching for that mental quietness that um, the key term lately has been mindfulness all right so standing up nice and straight and tall we begin with commencement. So we inhale, picking the hands up. Exhale, sinking down. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Single whip. Inhale. And exhale. Cloud hands. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. 
exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Open, close, inhale, exhale. Single whip left, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Open and close, inhale, exhale. Brush knee left. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Brush knee right. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale. Exhale and close the form. Inhale and exhale. And return to normal breathing. All right, how'd that feel? Doesn't that feel beautiful when you take it nice and slow and easy? Isn't that a beautiful feeling? I hope you were able to feel that again. Got to make sure you know the moves first. Know where your weight should be. It builds on one another. Um, if you couldn't feel that, um, that quietness, that jing that we're looking for, just keep working with it. It'll come. Don't try and force it. Let it come to you. Don't go chasing after it. It's like that elusive butterfly. You keep chasing it. It just keeps getting away. If you stop, let it come to you. It'll come and rest on your shoulder, okay? Okay, so everybody having fun? Any comments? Not a, one. Not a one. That means they're doing it perfectly, right, Sophia? Yeah. yeah. And Sophia is watching everybody through the computer so she can see everybody and how they're doing. And she said everybody is doing a wonderful job. So that's awesome. Okay, so we're going to do Shibashi. We're going to do it six times. Uh, Sophia is going to help me count because I can only count to three. I have trouble counting to six, all right? So, and I don't have an accountant here. Let's see what I did there. I don't have an accountant here, so. Sophia's gonna help me count, so. But you know what? If we do one time five and another time eight, it's okay. All right. So, because I need all the help I can get, that's why you're helping. Um, okay, so, 
We're going to focus on that mental jing, jing. So we are going to take things nice and slow, and you're going to focus on the movements, focus on the breathing. Enjoy the movements, all right? Uh, shibashi is a beautiful, beautiful exercise, okay? All right. So it's a good workout for you also. Always stay in your safe zone as we do this. You do not have to sink all the way down. In fact, in this case where we're trying to get that mental quietness, maybe not sinking down all the way on movement number four and I don't know, whatever movements, it's up there like 16, 15, 16, 17, somewhere in that area. Um, maybe not pushing the body quite as hard will keep you more in that state of mental quietness, all right? You know what I'm saying. Do I have to say names, Jeannie? <laughs> all right. So uh, sometimes not pushing the body allows the body to stay in a state of mental quietness, all right? All right. So let's begin with commencement. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And last one. Inhale. And exhale. Giving a big hug. Inhale, keep inhaling, exhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And last one. Inhale. And exhale. Dancing with rainbows. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Come back to center. Stay in your comfort zone. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale and exhale inhale exhale last one inhale and exhale repulsing the monkey like my shirt says inhale and exhale Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. 
Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last one. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and Exhale, rowing the boat, inhale and exhale, inhale and exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. That was the last one, correct? Turn and hold the ball. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. You're reaching and extending. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Turn and gaze at the moon, not moving the hips. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm still in. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, thank you, inhale, and exhale. Back to center. There's two different ways to breathe on that one. I try to do both simultaneously. Inhale, exhale, 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 inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. One more. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. 
cloud hands. Inhale and exhale. No. Inhale, exhale. That's one. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Deuce. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Last one. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Step out gently with that left foot, empty with the left foot. Stay in your comfort zone. Don't push the body too hard. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Thank you. Inhale and exhale. Playing with waves. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. It's very helpful. Thank you. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Inhale, weight back on the right, pull the left in, shift weight left, step out empty right. Exhale, oh, I'm sorry, inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. How many more is that, Sophia? Inhale. She's just making it up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale. That's it. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. 
Inhale, exhale. Thank you. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, step out wide if you want to work the legs. Inhale, exhale. 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 Inhale, and exhale. Inhale back to center. Again, stay in your comfort zone. Don't push your body too hard. Fly like a goose. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale back to center. Circling. A couple different ways you can do breathing on this one. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, you're going to have to let me know, Sophia. Exhale, inhale, and exhale. Last one. Inhale, exhale, inhale and exhale come back to center ah skipping you're on your own for this one inhale exhale inhale exhale <laughs> all right Kaming Chi. Inhale and exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. And then inhale and exhale. Beautiful. That's Shibashi. Thank you to Sophia for counting those off for me so I could focus on the breathing. Now, you need to breathe whatever makes sense for you, okay? Um, my breathing won't necessarily match your breathing, so you do what makes sense for you. That was only suggested breathing, okay? Second thing, and I should have mentioned this at the outset, if you're learning uh, Shabashi, go back to, um, I've been covering Shabashi for the past three Tuesdays, starting out with very detailed explanations of each move, and I've kind of been refining as we go, okay? So I hope you got to feel that mental quietness, even as you're taking the body physically a little stronger, a little 
harder than what normal Tai Chi is, um, the Shabashi is a great way to build that inner Chi, uh, but you can still get that mental quietness by using that mental focus. So I hope you were able to feel that. If not, just keep working on it little by little, all right? It doesn't come right away. You've got to get the other foundational elements into place. Um, it's like when you're building a home, you got to get the foundation up, you got to get the walls up, you got to get the roof on before you get that, uh, the peak of the roof, okay? And that shin, that mental quietness is like the peak, the ultimate, uh, but it's got to have a good foundation underneath of it, okay? All right, let's do our three cool down exercises and I'll quit torturing, uh, teaching you today. So, lightly punch, slap the legs. We worked the legs out pretty good today. So make sure that you hydrate, all right? Next, tighten up all the muscles in the body and relax. Relax. One more time, tighten up the muscles and relax. Austin, hey Austin, I haven't gotten a picture from you yet. Austin and Helen, I need pictures from you guys. Gather chi, inhale. Sophia says hello to Austin and Pepin. Exhale, relax the hands down. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Some of you might know Austin. He's filled in for me in some of my classes, by the way. So anyway, great Tuesday workout. Please send me pictures of yourself doing Tai Chi. I want to fill that gallery up. I want uh, your fellow students to see you doing Tai Chi. Um, we will be back tomorrow. First hour, Tai Chi for everyone. Then a half hour of meditation between 11.15 and 11.45. And then we'll close with more advanced Tai Chi. Uh, we've been working on Tai Chi for arthritis part two. Um, we've been working on that. And we're going to bring together these six principles and work on that on both uh, Wednesday and Thursday. So I hope you can make it for that. Um, go back reviewing starting last Monday is when we started doing the Tai Chi principles. So at least catch the beginning of each feed so you learn a little bit about each principle. Okay? Awesome. Have yourselves a great day. Again, a beautiful day in St. Louis. Get outside. Get do some Tai Chi. Stay safe. Thank you to my producer, Sophia. Uh, thank you to all of, all of you for joining, and uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Blessings.